I was part of a team that um, conducted a study into published climate papers. And we found that among papers that stated the position on whether humans were causing global warming or not, 97.1% of them agreed that humans were causing global warming. And so we have three different studies, all using completely different techniques, all finding 97% agreement amongst published climate scientists that humans are causing global warming. And, and how many papers did you look at in your study, the most recent study? We looked at 21 years worth of climate papers, adding up to in total 12,000, uh, over 12,000 papers. Um, when we narrowed it down to just peer reviewed studies uh, that stated a position on global warming, there were about 4,000 papers stating a position. And amongst those, there was 97.1% uh, agreement. Now, we also invited uh, the scientists who authored all of these 12,000 papers to rate their own research. Uh, to get an independent uh, replication or an independent measure of consensus. And we found that when scientists rated their own papers, amongst the papers that were rated as stating a position on human-caused global warming, 97.2% endorsed the consensus. So we have multiple replications of the same result using different methods, all finding an overwhelming scientific consensus that humans are causing global warming. In 2002, uh, there was a memo leaked uh, from Frank Luntz, who's a Republican pollster, and he was advising Republican politicians on how to debate about climate policy. And his advice was simply this, based on the market research that he'd conducted, uh, to stop climate policy, to stop climate action, all you have to do is cast doubt on the scientific consensus. Because when the public don't realise that the scientists agree, then they're less likely to support climate action. So this was 2002. Now, around a decade later, social scientists started researching this area and they found the same thing. They found that public perception of scientific consensus was a key gateway belief, that when people understood that there was scientific agreement uh, that humans were causing global warming, then they were more likely to support action to stop climate change. And there's been a number of studies since then that just have replicated this result, finding the key role of perceived consensus. And this is the reason why consensus continues to get attacked, because people who don't want climate action are trying to keep the public perception of consensus as low as possible uh, to, to delay any action on climate change.